a ball of mass 20 gram falls from a height of 10 meter and after striking the ground it rebounds from the ground to a height of 8 meter we have to calculate the kinetic energy of ball just before striking the ground next we have to calculate loss in kinetic energy of ball on striking the ground and what happened to the loss in kinetic energy in second part take g value as 10 meter per second square and neglect the air friction now carefully see the question a ball of mass 20 gram mass is given as 20 gram is fall from a height of 10 meter from the ground okay after striking on the ground it rebounds to a height of 8 meter okay now we have to calculate the kinetic energy of ball just before striking the ground just before striking the ground the whole potential energy is converted into kinetic energy so just before striking the ground whole potential energy is converted into kinetic energy potential energy we have potential energy we have mgh and kinetic energy we have to calculate mass we have 20 g so let's convert it into kilogram divided by 1000 g value is 10 and h is 10 meter before striking the ground initial height we will take as 10 meter so kinetic energy in this case we got it as 2 joule kinetic energy we got it as 2 joule so here initial kinetic energy we got it as 2 joule clear now we have to see a ball again now carefully see now we have to find the loss in the kinetic energy of ball on striking the ground so when ball which is at some height a 10 meter after rebounds it goes to a height of 8 meter okay now we have to calculate loss in loss in kinetic energy means we have final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy okay so here if i'm talking about loss so there is some loss in energy so we will always subtract higher value minus lower value so higher value in this case we have initial kinetic energy not final and final kinetic energy because initial kinetic energy is more and final kinetic energy is less we are calculating loss so we will subtract initial minus final initial we have already calculated that is 2 joule now we have to calculate final kinetic energy so if you are talking about final kinetic energy after striking the ground the ball attains a height of 8 meter it means this final kinetic energy final kinetic energy is equals to final potential energy final potential energy we have mgh and it is equals to final kinetic energy so mass value we given it as 20 g divided by 1000 g value as 10 and h value is 8 meter so now calculate here so you will got final kinetic energy as 1.6 joule so put the values initial kinetic energy is we have 2 joule and final kinetic energy we have 1.6 so here you will got it as 0.4 joule it means loss in kinetic energy we have 0.4 joule now the question arises why there is loss in this energy means if loss is there 0.4 joule where this energy actually goes so this energy is basically when it strike with the ground when the ball strike with the ground some form of heat is produced and some form of sound is produced so this 0.4 joule is appeared as a heat or sound energy or loss it as a heat or sound energy clear